What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, fam? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing great. Even though I came to the wrong freaking um, Burger King. <laughs> All right, we got a Burger King order. Uh, I came to the wrong Burger King. I didn't look at my um, app. All right, which way you going, player? Come on, make up your mind. All right, family, today is Throwback Wednesday. Uh, I like what somebody said in uh, one of the videos. All right, today I really don't have nothing to throw back, but let's throw back your very first DoorDash order. Let me know if you were scared. What's your thought on your first order? I got to go first. My first order was at um, Chick-fil-A. Um, I remember I just cut my app on. I just came from the um, the DoorDash um, recruiting office where they gave me my bag and stuff, and they told us to go out and practice. My first order was from for um, Chick Fil A. I don't remember the customer, but I did write it down uh, where I went, time, place, whenever. Yeah, I keep track of all that. And um, my biggest fear was. I think was going to the right place because uh, the map was acting up. I was using Google Map, Google Map, and it just was acting up that day. It kept um, taking me on the back side of where I was going. Instead of the front, it would take me to the back of the house. I don't know why it did that, but it did. So my first DoorDash order was very scary, but I, I managed. Once I once I did the first two or three orders. It was it was it was what you call it, man. And I learned how to deal with the um, with the um, people inside the store. You know, they was very friendly because it was their first time too. So, yeah. If you can remember your first DoorDash order, family, let me know. Was you scared? Was you cool? Was it easy? Was it hard? That'll be for our throwback. Oh shoot! I might as well go this way. All right, we're good to go to the right Burger King. I came to the wrong Burger King. I already swiped, so I might be getting an email. What time do I supposed to be here? I'm going to be real late. Because I supposed to have been there at pickup time. 6.22. Oh, yeah, I'm late. So we're going to get this order, and we're going to deal with the lateness. What time am I supposed to drop it off? Pick up time. Okay, so go here. I got delivered by, oh man. Well, luckily they live right up the street. So, hope they don't be too mad. But we late as hell. We supposed to have been there at uh, 629. We supposed to been dropping it off. But I went to the wrong one. It's all good. No excuse. Hopefully the food will be hot. And if it's cold, man, I, I eat that. But I mean by eat that, I, I uh, accept all responsibility because I went to the wrong one. Wasn't paying attention. I seen Burger King, boom. I came to the one that I, I normally come to. I'm an idiot. But family, how you doing? Sorry I didn't get a chance to make a video yesterday. Uh, I was planning on it. But it was raining so hard you couldn't even see. And I need to focus. Because you know, guys, I lose focus when I'm dealing with you guys. And it was just raining so bad that I couldn't dash. I mean, it rained. It was raining sideways, upside down, the whole night. You couldn't see in front of you. So I didn't want to take a chance. And then when it slacked up, it was just too dark. So, but I'm out here today, fam. I'm going to talk to y'all for a little bit. Get this order. Come on, light. Damn, this is a long light. Also, I want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning. After I done said, damn, you know, it's truly a blessing to be on this earth one more again. To do what I love to do, which is dashing. There we go. Let's go, man. Let's get these people their food. All right, guys. Come on, little mama. We got to get going. So I'm on a bad street. I'm up here on uh, Fletcher. I should have went straight to Fowler. So Fletcher has three lights that don't work together. 
<laughs> Meaning this will turn red and then when it turn green, the next light will turn red and then the other light be green and then it's just three lights in a row. If you can make all three of them, you're having a good day. Okay, I just made one. Worse than root one. Come on. Plus we going over the speed limit. There's no cops around right now. I, I didn't make this accurate. See, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about, man. And then the light after that is green. I probably won't make that one either. Alright, so I'll be right back, family. I'm back, family. See, now the other light, this light girl to change green. And now the other light turned red. I hate this light, man. Ooh. Man. Hey, I, um, COVID-19 cases just went sky high in Florida. So we got to be extra careful. You know, got to continue to be safe and wear your mask and all the other stuff. I think I was going high because everybody's getting tested now. People already had it. Or asymptomatic, whatever it's called. And um, they just realizing that they just took their test and they're getting all the results. I think we already had a high number of cases. It's just nobody was getting tested because they wasn't taking it serious. Now that people are getting tested, and they found out they got it. So our numbers just jumped up. Plus, I think we had a, a high number of deaths from one day. I think it was 150 people. So I have to be careful. And I got to make sure that my customers are being careful also. So what I mean by that, I'm sanitizing right after I, you know, deal with my customers. Washing my hands, not touching my face and eyes and stuff like that. Y'all know the routine. <laughs> if you don't know how serious this is just go back to videos and um, look in the comment uh, I got Jeffrey Atkins um, story in there what he going through the after effects of COVID-19 alright family we way way late on this order so I might get I probably get a bad rating I mean it's my first order I don't give a damn if I'm late on my first one, I'm normally not late. It's always that first. As soon as I start, it seems like I'm always late to that first one for some reason. But hopefully they don't have it made yet. It's a pretty big order. All right, we almost there. I went into the bone. Burger King and I, I told him I had an order for Quan. They said, oh, she already left. I was like, no, I have a DoorDash order for Quan. Oh, we don't have no DoorDash order. <laughs> I said, but Quan, she already left, though? They were like, yeah, she already left. Now, y'all just give that girl information up. Don't even know who I am. I could be a killer. You know? I should have said, well, what's her phone number and her address? Because I supposed to have picked her up. She probably would have gave it to me. You know what I mean? All right, guys, I am not doing the speed limit. Do not do what I do. Me and little mama got business to take care of. So, guys, when I'm late, I do apologize to the customer. Whether they say something or not, I always apologize for being late. Might not go into, into, into the details why I'm late, but I do apologize. When I'm on time, I also apologize for being on time or too early. This is a little joke, inside joke. Oh, I'm sorry I'm here early, you know. Sometimes they can get you a tip and a good rate. Sometimes people don't know that you came early. They just want their food. And then they hit them like, oh, you know what, man? Thank you for being 15 minutes early. Bam, I'm gonna give you a tip. So let me give you a good rate. In this case, if I get a bad rate and it's okay, I mean, I deserve it. I'm late. I can't blame nobody but myself. And always take responsibility for your action. Now, if somebody made me late, that's something different. But I'm late because I went to the wrong store. <laughs> so I'm going to text the customer now and tell them. That I'm picking up the food now. Come on. 
contact, custom text. What time did he send that? He said that at 11 o'clock. Yeah, people sent me messages this morning. I ain't even, I ain't never looked at my message. But guys, I gotta tell you, Tampa have the longest, have, has the longest lights ever I ever seen, man. This light was red when I got here, it just changed. this Burger King. Not there yet, but I'm almost there. I'm this close. But, uh, like I said, it's my fault that I'm going to be late. So I will apologize to the customer. Because they could see me moving. They could see they're going to be like, what's, what, what's going on? I'm surprised they didn't call yet. But I just let them know, hey man, I went to the wrong Burger King. I apologize. Sorry for late. Why they apologize? All right, fam, I'll be right back. All right, fam, I did all that, and they ain't even doing DoorDash no more. So now I got to reach out to DoorDash. This this stuff just drives me crazy, man. Well, let me call them, man. Unbelievable. DoorDash. I'll let y'all To continue in English, please press 1 or stay on the line. If you are a restaurant on our platform or you'd like to become one, please press 1. If you are a customer, please press 2. If you are a dasher, please press 3. If you're not a... All right, I'm going to go through this if with you If you are so calling about scheduling a dash, See what we have to go one. through. If you, you are calling about a light delivery, customer service. please press 2. For all other options, please press 3 call may be recorded for quality and training purposes I please get stay on the line after your call for a brief two questions hurry up day. sorry lost my temper thank you for reaching the dash this is barbara how can i help you hey barbara how you doing hi i'm good thanks for asking how are you i'm good uh i got this order for kwan at burger king um, they no longer doing DoorDash. They say their app is broke, but they not they not fixing no food for DoorDash. Oh, I'm um, sorry to hear that inconvenience with the order. Um, give me just one second to take a look at the account. Um, you said that it was the order for Quan and Burger King. Yes. Okay, so. Okay, so give me just one quick second. I'll give a call to the restaurant uh, so we can remove the order, okay? okay? Give me just one quick second and I'll be right back. Make sure I get my guarantee. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> you have to say that because sometimes they don't give you the guarantee. So always make sure you ask about your guarantee. You'll get like $3 or $4 for just showing up. Or $2 or whatever it is. This order was for $4, so I'll probably get $2 or a dollar. Okay, so give me just
Thank you very much for holding. So I'm removing the order from the system now and provide you with the payment. Thank you, I appreciate it. No worries, it's always a pleasure. So let me set up the payment for you before canceling this. Um, so. Okay, so there is being removed from your system. Thank you. Um, and payment, half payment for going to the restaurant. All right, so email confirmation is on its way, uh, on its way as well for the payment. And the order has been removed, so you can continue dashing. Thank is you. Is there anything else that you might need assistance? That's it. All right, well, thank you for reaching there, guys. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye bye. Welcome to your after call, sir. Man, I don't do that. Don't do me like that. All right, guys, we just picked up another order for $7. So we're going to go take care of that. That went smooth. We're all set. Let's go. Shut up. You're too loud. Turn right. Then turn left. Turn right on North 53rd Street. Then turn right on East Fowler Avenue. All right, so we got a new order. I've never been to this restaurant. Then turn left. We about to go. All right, shut up. 56th Street. What's the best way to go? Let's go out this way. But that's cool. I get it. Shut up. I get a guarantee. I get like two dollars, three dollars for, for showing up. Turn left, then turn right on East Fowler Avenue. We're not going that way. Go the way I want you to go. She been a little stuck. You know how y'all women are. Diane, how you doing? Bimba, don't break. What's up? I know that just came out of the blue. But to all my um, family, DoorDash family, I can't name them all. Just want you guys to know I love you. Keep doing what you're doing, get that money. Come on, player, hurry up. Now we gotta go up here and make a U-turn. Now my GPS is acting stupid. Where are we going at? Fowler, 56 Fowler, 501 Fowler, 56 Fowler. Which way I'm going? Fowler, where's that? 50 Street. Oh, snap. Hmm. Okay, I gotta go ahead and make a U turn. What's the name of this? What you call it? My my app is acting up. Let's see if it take me there. Let's take East Fowler Avenue, Tampa. Let's buy fifty. All right. I think I know where it's at. My app, my GPS is not um, acting right right now, so. We gonna wing it. I gotta go up here and make a U-turn. But I missed you guys yesterday, man. But I, man, we had a storm. When I say we had a storm, boy, we had a storm. I ain't never seen it that bad. I ain't mind to you, boy. It was bad. I'ma try to get over if this car hurry up. Come on, hurry up. Taking his time, 52nd Street.
me. My GPS aligned back up. It's doing some crazy stuff right now. places that they're building over here. Cadova. There it is right there. Bam. Found it. I only just saw a GPS now. I found it. Cudoba. Man, that's a big burrito. Alright, this is for Zoe. Right now we got an extra dollar to 7.30. If, uh, if you're dashing, always try to get that bonus, man, if you can. Unlike Georgia, LA, Tampa, we only get a dollar, most being two, three dollars. It was up to four dollars in Brandon, but you know. We don't get it right there. Ooh. We gotta travel six blocks to get it. All right, guys, so we got a little bit of basketball. Hold on for a minute. I'm back, family, so we went and picked this up. So what is this? This said leave it at the door. I think this said leave it at the door. Passage. All right, we got to leave it at the door. He was point, apartment 42. Okay. Building 42 on the right side of the building, not the staircase in the middle. The patio. What the hell is he talking about? 4209. Okay. Uh, all right, family, we almost... We're almost there. This is a quick seven dollars. Right by the house. We gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat tonight. You know what sounds good? Some grilled cheese with bacon. Wow. Turn left. You never had grilled cheese with crispy bacon? Oh my god, man. Uh, I call that pig and slop. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna do some. Um, grilled cheese with some bacon. Call it a day. You know what I mean? Alright, we got this big old taco burrito. Whatever the hell it's called. It stink all the hell. Sound, it smelled like it got a lot of onions and a bunch of other crap. Olives. It stink. It's, it stink real bad. Hold on for a minute, fam. Let me see what this is. do their time cards at work. We gotta do everything, man. We might as well be managers. Oh, wait. 
Well, I'm glad I got a chance to uh, make a video today because I'm going to be out here to probably about 10.30, 11 o'clock. I'm getting mine today. Hold on, family. I'm back, family. Had to take that call. All right, we just delivered that. All right. All right, we got another order. We're going to Chick-fil-A. Uh, I'm going to stop home and use the restroom real quick, family. That Chick-fil-A don't let you use the restroom. Uh, so, you know what? I might as well upload my video, too. What time I got to be there? I'm almost reached that critical time anyway. What time I gotta be there? 7.27, yeah, I'm gonna use the restroom first, family. All right, family, y'all gonna get a short video today. Uh, my my Wi-Fi works so quick when I'm home. And it'll be okay, but they don't let you use the restroom in Chick-fil-A. Yeah, they close all that stuff down. Come on. See, would y'all let the people in? Thank you. Oh, man. This woman, she feed the ducks and the cats and stuff like that. She put food out for them. So you got all the ducks and cats eating. Whatever she give them, they must be hot because they be drinking a lot of water every time this woman feed them. She nice enough to come around and feed all the cats, stray cats and ducks. That's like a hundred stray cats in my neighborhood, man. Unbelievable. They should name this pussy cat. It's a lot of cats, man. I'm exaggerating on the numbers. It's maybe about 10 cats. All right, family, I got to go. I hope y'all have fun. I didn't give y'all a go today, but I hope y'all did well. It's too late to give y'all a go. But this is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. All right, family, love you. Talk to you in a little bit. Peace. Uh